Simon, what's the update in terms of Hagabus? Sorry, the... The Typhoon, it seems to have <laughs> seems to, abated, yeah. in a sense, for the Ireland game, anyway. Yeah, to be honest, we're, we're probably about as informed as you guys are in terms of um, where it's heading. Um, I think, by all accounts, uh, things can change reasonably quickly in this part of the world in terms of where the, those sort of, um, where the systems can travel. Uh, and we are we are playing here against Samoa on Saturday until we're otherwise uh, informed, and that's that's yeah that's how we prepared all week and how we're still preparing. To be honest, uh, we may know more later on. We know we may know more a little bit uh, more tomorrow, but as far as we're concerned, we're we're planning to take on Samoa here in uh, Fukuoka. What are you looking for from Saturday? Uh, well, a win would be uh, would be the first and, and foremost. Um, I think there's a certain elements in our game against Russia that we uh, we'd like to think we could have we could have done better. Uh, but we have to be prepared to deal with uh, a real physical uh, Samoan side, what a side that have shown in parts to be to be really good, and and um, they'll they'll want to finish the. The tournament on a high and, and feel like maybe they haven't quite hit their straps uh, as we feel we maybe haven't quite hit ours uh, probably since the Scotland game and maybe the first 20 minutes of the Japan game so there's so much to play for uh, there's, there's obviously the the potential of a, a, a World Cup quarter-final for us to, to play for and I think at the moment we're just thinking about getting um, getting our house in order and making sure that we perform to the, to our best and and um, you know, we have to deal with with a physical uh, and abrasive and and very talented Samoan team uh, to do that. Um, how does this uh, how does this current pack stack up against the two packs you played in at the Oak Arena seven World Cups? Um, I'd love to be playing in it myself. To be honest, it's um, you know it, it's a it's a good mix of of uh, brawn and brains, and I think uh, these days players they they expect more. Uh, they they want to know more. They they've got a, a bigger capacity to learn, uh, and to 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 kind of learn and and have knowledge of, of things that they're doing. Um, why are they doing it? You know, what's the the rationale behind it? Maybe maybe in the past when I was playing, we weren't quite as um, informed, or or maybe we didn't uh, ask as many questions. But I think that that puts uh, a real challenge for us as coaches, uh, me and Fiki in particular up front. Uh, it's um, no two days are the same. We, we you know, we uh, we've got a great bunch of guys who work incredibly hard, but they also uh, are smart and they want to know. Uh, and and once they've once they've got a good understanding of things, then then they'll grab that and, and run with it. And uh, and that's what I like about this group. Um, it's a real, I think it's a real good um, competitive nature as well. And that that's that's Irish through and through, isn't it? But in this group, there's a real good competitive nature. Uh, scrum session today was was you know it was tasty. There was there was uh, there was a little bit going on in there, and and, it, and it, that's that's what you want. You need those types of uh, sessions, and you need that competitive edge. Um, and this four pack, I think, has that. Is, this, is the challenge the same as it ever was? We're going to come up against bigger, stronger teams that are supposed to be able to overpower us. Yeah. yeah, I guess we've always I guess we've always mm. fallen into that bracket maybe and and uh i'd certainly like to think that because of those those elements of smarts and understanding and the knowledge you've still got to bring the physicality and and you know no game is won without that uh so we, we still have to be able to have uh, an emotional edge and the ability to to uh to play at a level that um physically can can beat teams and we've done that in the past we haven't done it every week, and and that's a challenge uh, for all of us to make sure that we're in the right place. Uh, I think this week is feels different. Uh, it feels like we've had a couple of days uh, after we played Russia, we had a couple of days off, and the players had a chance to refresh and recharge their batteries, step away from the, the sort of rugby for a couple of days, and and um, yesterday and today training's been good, and there's been a real edge, um, and I think that's something that. You feel like that there's a little bit of, of a change uh, in, a, in the mood as well in the group. And, uh, Ian was just saying a moment ago that Ireland had great success against Scotland because it's a side of play that they're used to playing that when Ireland come up against 
aside they, they pay themselves, they have greater success. Is that something you go along with? Um, I, I think you you naturally have um, yeah you have more familiarity with the Scots. Uh, you have more familiarity with uh, teams from the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, so I, I guess in that in that sense, someone like Samoa presents a slightly different challenge in that um, they they can carry, they can offload, they can they can pull something out of the bag which maybe we don't see quite as much of uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. So yeah, I guess in that sense it it, it proposes it poses a slightly different challenge to maybe uh, playing against a, another Six Nations team uh, who we play more regularly um, as opposed to playing a. A Pacific Island team who uh, who are very dangerous, but also very physical.